Yumi Yumi no Mi has come to GPO and we are getting almost we are getting four Dairy Fruits in Update 5. Yes, four Dairy Fruits, which is very very nice. We are getting the Kage, the um, the Mochi, we are getting the Paw Paw, and now we're getting the Yomi. The Yomi didn't get any sneak peeks and I was not expecting it, but we got it today. Yes, as I'm recording currently the 25th of May, we got the yummy and it's amazing to say the least like to be honest if we really look at it it's a very very nice fruit i believe it will most likely be a legendary but uh, i can't really say much more than that but basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna look at every move and I'll basically explain what they do and that's all i'm really gonna do and you know you just analyze the moves you know and see you know what kind of moves we have because it's kind of hard to see which moves they uses and what they do exactly so the first move we have is the Shilling Soul. By clicking E, the user stomps on the ground, creating an AOE shockwave that freezes the opponent's legs in place, which is a stun basically. It stuns the opponent if they are within the range of your AOE shockwave. And yes, it's a very nice stun ability right there. The R um, keybind will basically allow the user to send out the head of their soul and if it makes contact with someone it will cause them to freeze similarly to Santa uh, candy cane flash freeze and basically this is another stun fruit basically you send out your skull and you hit your opponent and boom they get stunned it's that simple a lot of stun fruits but one one thing I really took interest in is the skedaddle 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 um, move which is on the T which is uh, basically run like a brook in one piece and you, you can run over water so with this ability uh, it's very very fast that and if it's they say it's possible you can float in the mid-air so the, that's one thing you can take away from that you walk you run so fast because you're a skeleton that you can walk on water so and run on water I mean so uh, that's one move for you guys who you know um, I don't know like if you get this fruit you know that's I guess that's useful for you uh, hopefully this like you can keep it on for a long while so you're not like on the ocean running and then suddenly you lose all your stamina and then you drop into the water that sucks so much uh, the move with the keybind Z this is called soul assault the user sends out their soul and send us a flurry of kicks before ending the run out. It's basically like a, a combo. You you make a combo, but and uh, another move by when you click X is called Death Defy. This is the main ability of the fruit, and this is very unique. It basically, when the user activates this, it's like you get another life. And what this is works is like if you get knocked, the, um, the user can choose to revive himself back to life at the cost of being turned into skeleton. With 100% of the stamina restored, but only 33% of their health HP returned to them. So remember that um, you can only use this once per life, and uh, you can use this uh, while being knocked and before being knocked as well, if you're low, I believe. I'm not sure. But it basically, Remember that if you have a, a very very little HP, this will probably be very, it, it will probably, you know, it's kind of pointless. But if you have a lot of HP, this can save you, you know, and give you an extra life in, let's say, PvP or whatever. And the last move we have is the Soul King's Roar. It's the move where basically you summon a green skeleton that would be screaming and you place it on the ground and basically what happens is it is major AOE damage and causes people to run away uh, similar to the head of Baal and to be honest this yummy yummy to me is amazing of course I'd like if it's gonna be a legendary fruit I'd like more mobility it's super clean and it has a bunch of stun moves and you know but it needs a little more offensive like you know it has a lot of stuns but not a lot of offensive unless the, uh, stuns do damage as well and i mean like some decent damage so uh, the benefits of this uh, therefore right here is that it grants the user a second life and uh, which allows them to survive fights a lot longer only if you have a lot of hp though and it has three combat centers so this is very very good for people in pvp and skedaddle can be used on water 
you know uh, without using anything so you can basically water walk but that depends on the stamina let's say you have a little stamina you water walk let's say I, i'm not sure if it takes your stamina a lot but like let's say it takes your stamina a lot and now you like drowning in the water which sucks that's why they need to make it take a very very little uh stamina just to you can like go around to islands with the skedaddle soul king's roar does a lot of damage and makes people like you know a uh, get put in like you know they can't fight back for a little while which is very very nice and all but there is problem with this is that you know most of the moves are aoe meaning you have to be near people to stun them and to use your you know ultimate which is the soul king's uh roar let's say the opponent flies away then you just wasted your ult because you know it depends on the range of the ult but like let's say somebody flies away with pick a flight or you know any other flight boom you can't hit them anymore you just wasted your ult also they have um they have the ability to leave because soul king's roar has a long startup as you can see so that makes it you know people can easily avoid your ultimate you know in pvp let's say but i've been rambling for almost how long yo i'm running for almost i don't even know the minutes i'm blind but for a while now but yeah, that's everything about Yomi. If you liked it, check out my video yesterday. I made about something. I forgot what it was.